In this video tech tip, we're going to talk about using misaligned mates. Misaligned mates allow for some sort of misalignment between concentric mates that would otherwise be a perfect fit because in the real world, you might need to account for some spacing or some slack in your components. So let's take a look at how to use misaligned concentric mates in SolidWorks. We'll get started by first launching the fundamental mate command here. And we'll go down and activate concentric mate. And the mate is gonna be added here on the right hand side of this component. And it immediately identifies that there's a misalignment preventing it from perfectly aligning itself. So I'll undo this and show where this is coming from. Now it's based upon this first concentric mate. This is the mate that's preventing that second mate from being added. So it's identifying them as a pair or linking them. As I try to add the second mate, it identifies it as a misaligned mate and I can click the option here to add it, accepting that it's gonna be misaligned. Now I have some options on how to deal with this. I can align this particular mate or I can align the other mate or I can split the difference and make them symmetric like I'll do here. Now the key is that these misaligned concentric mates come in pairs. I'll go normal to and show what we're looking at here. This is the symmetric option or splitting the difference between the two. I'll go back to the concentric misaligned mates and show that they're linked here. You can see how they're grouped as pairs. One cannot be added without the other. It's a special type of concentric mate. Again, it can be symmetric, or you can align one of them, or align the other one, depending on which one you clicked. See how they're linked? And that is how you use misaligned concentric mates in SOLIDWORKS.